Welcome back to another episode of the Day After Podcast. And here we are with Survivor Anime Edition. That's right. Yeah. A bunch of anime uh, characters um, from all different kinds of, show, of, of anime shows uh, are here to, uh, to duke it out on the island. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, as we, as you guys know, like, if you've seen any of our like animated ones or like fictional character ones, we have uh, put in like anime so much because we're big nerds. Clearly, I'm dressed as a Pokemon right now. Uh, but yeah, so like I've, I've been wanting to do an anime one for quite some time. And uh, yeah, here we are doing one. Um, and this is going to be interesting. Um, we got anime kind of a pretty diverse uh, selection, like from different genres, I'd say. I just had to include one person. Uh, Joe came out with his list first, but there was like one person I had to list. There's uh, only one anime we have here where we have uh, two people representing. Everyone mm. else is from something different. Yeah, and it's uh, it was an anime that's currently ongoing. Like it's it's coming out as uh, we record this too. So uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of those animes that are, are we're currently watching or ever are. Uh, usually the ones that we like to bring for these kind of stuff so yeah um, yeah I, so, I, I will say yeah there's a also an anime we'll get to on my list I know somewhat about her but it's going on and it's a mind fuck kind of anime so uh, I don't know like what I know right now might be very different in a few weeks <laughs> of what like the real reality of her character and everything so that's fair that's yeah. very fair <laughs> all right should we get exactly. right to it yeah let's hop right in here to anya forger uh who is in the anime a spy family um and she is a telepath uh so she can read people's minds which yep. will make her very formidable in the game of survivor because she, she's not getting blindsided She's going to know if she goes home. Yeah. However, just because she knows that, she is, you know, still a little girl. Yeah. You know, barely six years old, if that. Um, she's been an orphan. She's been tossed around a lot when it came to, like, from family to family to orphanage to orphan. And uh, she finally got adopted by someone we'll talk about later basically because they needed a kid to infiltrate this school to get in mm -hmm. tight with some other kid. Yeah. Thing is, Anya, she is someone where she is a goofball. Um, she's a kid. She yeah. has these powers. And sometimes it actually is bad because like, she'll be like, oh no, they don't like me or oh no. And yeah. she makes, uh, you know, like stuff like that happen. Yeah. Um, and it's hilarious. And like, uh, she is uh, just the breath of, fresh air like just to the anime world she is someone that is so lovable um she, she's adorable it's like every time that she reads someone's mind and it's like a bad thing she just goes shock like she just gets yeah. so just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's so she, good she is she is phenomenal yeah, yeah, phenomenal yeah. Anime if you haven't seen spy family yet yes definitely definitely a must watch there um yeah so so yeah we'll see if uh how, how a little kid with uh <laughs> who's a telepath uh how, how she fares uh out there uh on the islands um okay the next person here is aoi uh, ashito uh and he is from a sports anime uh i felt like i i love sports anime it's actually one of my favorite genres of anime so i knew i had to bring someone from a sports anime I almost brought uh, uh, someone from Haikyuu, but decided, uh, no, I don't want to do that because uh, this anime is going on right now. And it's by the same production studio that did Haikyuu. Um, and man, I've never cried in a sports anime before. Interesting. Until this one. This one's called um, It's called Aowashi. Aowashi. Yeah, and man, episode five is just such a fucking heartbreaker of an episode. It is just so sad the entire time. Um, literally, literally, the whole thing is just like he gets to go to like this really big uh, academy to like 
learn how to play soccer and everything but um he has to like leave his friends and family behind to go do it uh and the whole time he's just like i'm just gonna be really happy and just like i don't want to look sad i want them to know i'm happy and just every minute it's just like constantly being thrown like away for him to like feel bad and feel sad the entire time it is just it is it is just so great how like the first four episodes built up like to have all of that like make sense in just such a great episode yeah um uh, yeah. well if he's uh used to hardships and stuff survivor will be a uh, very familiar territory for him. He's also very hard-headed, um, not very smart, uh, but he's very intuitive. Um, he has great eyes. He can literally see uh, like a conversation happening from the other side of the room and like know what's going on uh, without even like really paying attention. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's, he's really hard-headed. He's not very intelligent. He basically relies purely on instincts um and so yeah that's uh that's the shido for you all right nice okay moving on now to a character from the seven deadly sins uh have you watched seven deadly sins by any chance i've seen like the first season the one where you know like it starts out and introduces most of the okay, okay. of them uh not the one where uh I think his name is, I think it's Pride that comes in. Uh, yeah. I didn't see it up to that point. Like, basically okay. at the end of the first, like, arc they had. Okay, well, I, I, I'm going to have to spoil a little bit uh, about yeah. her character for you. Um, so, you, you know, she's a princess. Um, but what you might not know is that she's also an angel. Oh, well, damn. Yeah, yeah one of the most powerful angels in existence. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, she's also... Uh, have a curse on her uh so that way uh ev she's constantly meeting the main character of seven deadly sins um and then when they meet and fall in love with each other she dies and then gets reborn and then they have and then uh because the guy the main character is immortal by cruel fate they always meet up with each other again to fall in love yet again as new people just for her to die again. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very sad uh, story for, for this her is to getting go. Hot. This is getting yeah. hot. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it is summer right now, so. In California, nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, Elizabeth, um, yeah, you know, even though that she's got like, you know, as a princess, you know, she still likes to, you know, be out there on the battlefield and kind of like trying to be out there with, um, with her friends and making sure that uh, they're getting out, you know, she, she could easily just go sit in the castle somewhere and hope everything works out. But uh, she's usually someone who's, who ends up somehow being uh, intertwined with everything and is actually in the mix. Yeah, yeah. And she's a uh very caring person um mm -hmm. even if like someone has messed up she'll uh, go and like try and help them out and like yeah. you know heal them or whatnot yeah exactly exactly so yeah that's uh that's elizabeth um next up we got urza scarlet from fairy tale now i don't know if you know much about this trope about uh females in uh, shonen animes uh may or they like try to say hey this person's really strong this person's really good and then they just become irrelevant and you never see them actually do anything really crazy urza doesn't do that she is a badass from the start oh, yeah. you meet her to the end uh <laughs> i've seen uh i've seen up until um like episode 48 because that's all netflix had during the time it is actually the next anime i plan on watching after bleach mm -hmm. um i'm almost done with bleach so like to finally you know revisit that and finish what i started way back when mm -hmm. um yeah fairy tales is so much fun and urza is one of the highlights of the show yeah exactly yeah there's like this moment where uh she's in like this grand magical games and uh her thing is that she has to go into this tower and kill as many things as you can it's like from one to a hundred you can choose how many monsters you want to be in this tower against you um and there's only they only have a hundred monsters so it's kind of like 
whoever uh, kills the most can kind of end up uh, dictating how many people the other contestants get a face. And Urza mm-hmm. is the first person to go up there and she says, I'll fight all 100 of them. And the whole episode is just a montage of her just being a badass killing literally just a bunch of different monsters it yeah. is it, yeah it's it's it's, it's great it's uh Makes definitely sense. that definitely great um her ability is a uh, requip so she can uh change her armor and weapons uh depending on her situation so uh all of her different armor and weapons give her different kind of like abilities and strengths kind of stuff um so yeah that's uh that's urza yeah, um, I like her a lot. Um, another reason why I'm excited to go back to Fairy Tale. Um, exactly. She's definitely a highlight of it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, moving on now here to Tokyo Revengers with Mondro Sano, aka Mikey, um, as uh, his his nickname is, um, and he's the leader of the Tokyo Manji Gang where Draken, a previous winner, uh, is the vice captain. So in theory, he should, he should win. He should, he should be better than, than, uh, than what Draken uh, produced. You know, it, it's possible. I mean, he's in a very, very stacked cast. Um, not, not to discredit, you know, our, you know, the one that, um, that um, Draken was in. Uh, you know, it's always, di- it's always different. You never know. Um, what could pop up I mean he he's on the same team as someone that can read people's minds uh so I you know I like Mikey Uh, obviously Draken is number one um in my book Mikey is also pretty cool um Mm -hmm. for the most part he is level-headed but like when he does kind of like you know freak out uh be warned he's a skilled fighter and everything and obviously he's able to not just run you know, a gang, but one of the biggest gangs in Tokyo at, you know, at high school age, nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's rather elaborate, like, the the, the amount of delinquents, like, he has kind of control over. Yeah, yeah, definitely look for him to try to create that majority alliance and maybe write it out to the end. So I, I could definitely, you know, he, he values his friendships very high as well. You know, he, uh, uh, is willing to go to war because one of his um, uh, crew members is, you know, getting, you know, attacked or whatever. Like he's, he's like, okay, yeah. guys, we're going to war now. They, they, they started something with us. We gotta, gotta show them not to mess with us. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, also, since uh, if you guys, <laughs> we're gonna recommend a lot of anime uh, yeah. by the end of this. If you love anime. <laughs> You definitely go see Tokyo um, Revengers. It's one of the best anime to come out like of last year. Mm-hmm. So totally, totally watch it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a must watch. Um, I, I'm so excited for the next season. I just wanted it out already. <laughs> so, okay, next up, we got Master Roshi from Dragon Ball. Uh, and that's right. It's, uh, he is an old man who looks really scrawny, but then suddenly can just <laughs> enhance all of his muscles to look really muscular. And uh, yeah, he is uh, the person who teaches Goku martial arts with the Kamehameha wave. Um, yeah, so uh, definitely a good teacher. Um, I wanted to have kind of an older person on this uh, tribe because I have a lot of younger people on this tribe, yeah. so I tried to get a get an older person on here as well. To balance it out, yeah, makes sense. I will have to say, the the correlation kind of speaks out to me. The fact that we have him on Island of the Idols because of certain controversy that happened in this. Oh season. yeah, I you know I didn't even think that. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, because obviously Master Roshi, as great of a uh, as a martial artist he is. The man is a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> um, which especially in like, you know, anime, especially like, you know, earlier anime, you do see a lot of like pervy stuff. Um, like, you know, like, oh, nosebleeds, everything. Um, yeah. And, you know, some characters, especially female, are made to be very fan service um, yeah. Admittedly, there's like one person on my team that is very fan service mm-hmm. but we'll get to them in a second. 
Uh, but I mean, like Master Roshi is a lot of fun. He's just a crazy old kook. Um, and he's a crazy old kook who um, is pretty strong. Well, mm -hmm. back during his time. Yeah. Things got like crazy insane. Like that's the interesting thing about like Dragon Ball, the original series. It's like mm -hmm. so much of like what was built upon there just gets like yeah. overshadowed by it's a it's Dragon a different Ball. anime. I, I I tell people yeah. that uh Dragon Ball Z and Beyond is like a superhero kind of anime, whereas Dragon Ball is a real like classic martial arts kind of anime. Like it's yeah, not but, uh, doing anything crazy, yeah. Yeah, my roommate was recently watching like all of Dragon Ball, um, mm -hmm. doing it, you know, over the span of like, I forget how long it took him. He's finally on Dragon Ball Z now, but like, you know, like in watching it, it is a very different show, a mm -hmm. very different show. Yeah. Um, like aliens aren't really a thing there. Yeah, um, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the weirdest thing really is just uh, Goku and his, turning into a, a, a giant ape. Giant. Like, that's that's really the only time it ever really gets to, like, uh, craziness. But even, even that, it's like, it's like, you know, only a few episodes when you actually think about it. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah. Um, speaking of giant bears or giant apes, we got uh, Monokuma here uh, from the Danganronpa series, which has been one of our uh, everyone from Danganronpa so far has done somewhat uh, well. good. Yeah. Uh, Two of them being winners. One yes. of them being a three-time winner. Yeah. And fun fact, Monokuma is controlled by one of those winners. <laughs> Monokuma um, is controlled by Junko Enoshima. Uh, is uh, yeah, but ultimately, yeah, Monokuma is just this murderous teddy bear that is uh, basically the host of Dongan Rampa. Um, and uh, you know, you can't kill Monokuma because Monokuma just is a is a machine. So they just put out another Monokuma. It's like here's the new Monokuma. Um, yeah. and yeah, he loves. Uh, he loves torturing the students. He lo he loves the, he's he's a complete villain. Like he is, but he's like super goofy about it. Like he's gonna make jokes while someone is screaming in agony. Like that's the I kind of person does. he is. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not familiar with the Domp and Romp. You think at, at at this point I would have looked into it? Yeah, well, watch the anime or so play a game. <laughs> yeah, and you even said the games are like way better than mm. what anime is out there 100 percent. yeah um but yeah i mean if junko is well it canonically is junko controlling uh monokuma right now uh you know i think for the sake of making so junko doesn't somehow become a three-time winner <laughs> by <laughs> by controlling someone else uh we we can say that uh monokuma has 39 days of self-control <laughs> all right all right uh that was like my only thing i was yeah. like thinking of. i was like wait well this, this is all right so he's basically the ai is in him and he's sentient now yes exactly um yeah and uh also every, every game that uh come came out after the first one there's always like a new kind of like monokuma but like monokuma is still there but he like there's one where he's got uh, a little sister usami um where he basically beats up and bullies the entire game um and then in the third one he's got uh mono kids he's he's got kids in the third one <laughs> and he and he and he keeps uh putting them in positions where they die well. <laughs> yeah he, he he does not care about anyone around him <laughs> well good person to be a parent i guess yeah, he's he's a real villain like we need we need villains uh i i will say i, I actually have a lot of heroes on my my tribe for the most part so it's kind of a shocker um yeah. i like I know, like I have a. I know from my recollection, I have at least one villain. But mm -hmm. even then, he's more of an anti-hero, yeah. or like he's more of an antagonist mm -hmm. to the main character as yeah. opposed to like a villain. Yeah, I, I have know? someone coming up here who you might be able to classify as a villain, but yet again, anime is still going on. It yeah. will most likely change. <laughs> you never know. You yeah. never know. Yeah. 
Okay, next up, uh, I had to bring someone from One Piece. It's my favorite anime. Uh, and Nico Robin has one of the greatest moments in One Piece. Uh, like, if you look at almost any top 10 list for greatest moments in One Piece, her moment is always number one. Oh, what's her moment? One Piece is one where through time i will probably watch it but no time soon because that's over a thousand episodes yeah so basically uh she gets captured or she she gives herself up to the marines so that way uh the one piece or the uh you know the straw hats don't get captured or don't have to deal with that um because uh ever uh, ever since she was a kid uh, this is a very long story i i, I to, to, to get into how it gets there but uh when she was a kid uh basically a buster call happened which meant that her entire island was deemed as a villainous activities so her entire island gets killed her mom gets killed uh all of her stuff like she was studying to become an archaeologist all of that research gets destroyed and then uh she ends up getting a bounty of 78 million dollars on her uh for the rest of her life um so every time she tries to meet a new family to like live with or uh new friends they immediately find out about this and then try to sell her they try to they try to capture her and collect the bounty on her um and so, you know, she's, as a little kid, is having to uh, avoid, uh, you know, all these different people trying to basically sell her off. Um, and yeah, uh, eventually uh, it c- comes up to her when she does join the Straw Hat crew, is now uh, being captured. But then the Straw Hat crew is like, no, we're not letting you go. So they end up fighting into the Marine base, like, you know, doing like, it was like, I don't know, 20, 30 episodes of them just attacking a bunch of random Marines to get to her. <laughs> and then when she gets, uh, they get there, uh, we finally get like just this tear jerking moments of where she finally like in tears is says, I don't want to die. And it is just so like, visceral and just like how real like you could just tell that you know she's she's meaning it um where she finally realizes like you know what i want to be with you guys like everyone has given up on me before but now i finally have people who aren't giving up on me that does sound very moving yeah yeah it is it is it it it, it still brings a tear whenever i watch that scene yeah it sounds heavy yeah, yeah. Um, she's also a devil fruit user, um, so she can't swim. Uh, we've, we've talked about that before. If you eat a devil fruit, you can't swim, so she's going to have some trouble in the water portion. But uh, yeah, her ability is that she can um, grow any of her body parts in any area, of even, even on the world. So like she can grow hands to, grow, to come out of the sand and then pull you down. And that can be very, very helpful in this game. Uh, yeah. I, I would imagine, yeah, you can place your ears wherever on the island, mm-hmm. uh, your eyes to look for idols when you're even trying to sleep, quote unquote. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You can use, um, you can you can create a, a an arm bridge to like climb the trees and get up there to like the, the coconuts and everything. Yeah. Um, very resourceful. I can see that being very broken on here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's honestly it's a very broken devil fruit. Uh, you, they, they definitely try not to use it too much in the anime because sometimes it just feels like, well, why doesn't she just? Because uh, she has an ability where she literally just uh, creates hands that happen in the back of someone's neck and then just snaps the neck. Well, that's fair. <laughs> like why don't you just do that all of the time? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I guess you lose a bit of your humanity if you just mindlessly kill so many people yeah yeah <laughs> i mean she 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 has killed a lot of people <laughs> yeah I don't know. well uh she's a welcome addition to this uh yes, to this exactly brand. exactly so yeah that's uh that's robin okay now we can finally get to the person who i have no idea how the story is going with her so far um but what i believe is that she might be the villain of this of the show but they've also done so many different like rug pulled out from under you uh, twists uh that i don't really i can't say that confidently um this is from the anime tomodachi game um 
which is a must watch. Like uh, I, I, I think the first two or three episodes, very slow. Like I actually thought it was like, it was okay as an anime. And mm-hmm. then just like out of nowhere, it just hits you with like a gut check. It's just like, oh my, wait, it's like the whole show now different. Like it just, like that's how big of a, of a change it feels like uh, in episode four. Um, but yeah, uh, Shiho is someone who uh, it seems like she likes to use her uh, feminine charm and her uh, women uh, savviness to get what she wants get guys to basically give up all of their hopes and ambitions to serve her pretty much <laughs> very, very yeah very very brutal um apparently uh she's the reason why they are doing the tomodachi game which is a death game like because she she managed to mentally manipulate someone into playing a death game playing this game uh previously which caused him to have a bunch of debts which now his only way to get out of that debt is to play the game again with a new set of people <laughs> jesus, jesus. Yeah. i feel like uh she and uh she's gonna i feel like roshi just being who roshi is is going to be totally <laughs> like so su- such a simple like puppet master puppet dynamic that can happen there Exactly. Yeah. I mean, literally, it's like episode two or something. Like, she literally goes up to the main character and, like, has this whole thing of, like, ah, I, I didn't trust you at first, but now I do. And I, I have to tell you that I've really loved you for the last two years. <laughs> and, like, um, it, you know, she, she's basically telling this to, like, every single guy um, in, in their group, pretty much. <laughs> Fair. Uh... Yeah. Well, she's definitely going to be a character. Um, yeah, I think uh, out of everyone you've introduced, she's uh, definitely, I don't know, Monokuma is also uh, pretty villainous. But, yeah. you know, the, she's going to be definitely, I'm going to keep my eye on her. Yeah, my eye on her. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sh- Shiho and Monokuma are definitely the the villains of this, this tribe, but uh, we'll see if they can bring some of the the heroes to to the dark side we'll see okay next up we got someone from one of my favorite animes like no no joke food wars is one of my top five favorite animes of all time (laughs) it is it is so it's just so absurd it's literally a cooking anime about uh soma yukihira going to this famous cooking school and uh well and just being the best cook uh the best chef ever um and one of the things that they that is kind of like the hook for the show is they literally uh show all the characters having mouthgasms when they eat oh my (laughs) yeah Yeah. they'll they'll eat something and then the food we'll see like a dreamlike vision of the food coming to life and like in, enveloping <laughs> the characters <laughs> what the hell yeah <laughs> it is it is so trippy and so crazy to just like see that happen <laughs> that's the beauty of anime you can like just like animation in general but specifically <laughs> anime you can make the show literally about anything yeah and given the right style and everything yeah. it can work so well even the most out there anime you, you know is worth a watch because like it just you know there's a reason why people say anime and mm-hmm. uh cartoons there is a there is a difference yeah. um yeah. not just like there is like cartoons that are in an anime style like avatar and boondocks um mm-hmm. they're done in that style but it's not like it's anime inspired not anime anime Mm -hmm. yeah exactly um yeah it's uh it's it's a it's a crazy show um but uh soma you know is a chef um but just because he is a chef this tribe should not expect him to uh, give him uh give them good food all the time because he also has a bit of a sadistic side to him as well (laughs) oh goody (laughs) yeah so he loves giving people weird or gross food combinations 
and trying to see what the grossest thing is. Like he did um, peanut butter squid, uh, honey squid. Like he, he really loves just doing, <laughs> you know, like, like raw squid and just pouring stuff onto it and being like, here you go. And then shoving it into their mouths. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. There's no eating challenge on this season, but I feel like he would uh, he would love that. He'd probably cater that. Yeah, he, he would be laughing at uh, like whatever milkshake Jeff ended up <laughs> making for him. <laughs> no. um, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really good guy. Uh, he also um, is a huge risk taker. Like he, he's literally bets his life as a chef multiple times just because he's like, but I, I want to, I want this person to, to face off against me. Um, I don't have anything right now. So I guess uh, if you beat me, I'll never cook again. Well, <laughs> by the sound of it, you know, clearly he's still going. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's Good. move on now to, uh, to your tribe. All right. So, um, yeah, so I have a, well, I have like two villains um, on mine, but we'll get to both of them later. First up, you all know I'm a huge Pokemon fan. So it was only a matter of time before we had Ash Ketchum. You know, you all know Ash's story. You know, he wants to be a Pokemon master. Um, he's traveled the world. He's been 10, year old, 10 years old for many years. And like, it, it, in kind of a funny way too, because, you know, I know game theory has done like a thing to see how old Ash is up until like gen seven or gen six. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, like, it's funny, he's still 10 years old. And then the current like arc they're doing or like the current like series they're doing, it's like, it's kind of like Pokemon Endgame where he's visiting all his past regions and past companions and stuff along with trying to be like legit the number one trainer in the world. And he met a baby that's named after him and everything. Mm -hmm. And like he met the couple and everything. So like not only was the baby formed within nine months, but, you know, has aged to a point where it's not just a newborn anymore. So Ash is supposed to be like 11 or something, but he's still 10. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's a very smart trainer. Like he comes off as like, you know, a, kind of like a ambitious dork that doesn't really know what he's doing at first but like throughout the years he's become like yeah he can still be goofy and stuff he's still 10 years old mm -hmm. but uh you know like he's a prodigy um right now he's ranked in the top eight of the entire pokemon world mm -hmm. um and so like before he earns the t um the title of world champion he figured he'd come out here and earn the title of soul survivor yeah, I mean, uh, Pokemon, uh, I feel like is getting near the uh, the end stage of of it as as a whole, <laughs> as, at least with Ash, because there's going to be Gen yeah. 9 and some people are speculating, oh, are they going to retire Ash and have someone new take over? Um, he's Maybe. been uh, he's been doing this for like 25 yeah. years, um, more than that. Yeah, Basically. I feel like they're gonna do like one more season with him uh for 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 this gen nine. Um and maybe like halfway through, like maybe they start to kind of transition to like a new new ash kind of thing. I think gen with gen nine coming out later this year, I can see there's a few things that some people are speculating. Some people think that his current companion might take over the show, which I don't want. Um someone new who also has a Pikachu. We'll see. We'll see um but i feel like ash he's resourceful enough to you know do well in this game mm -hmm. so we'll see what we'll see his fate uh i'm nervous though because we all know my luck when it comes to brand steals <laughs> yeah right. even in the 41 versus 42 you gave the uh, hope for 42 wins <laughs> they got they got crushed Anywho, well, not crush, but the people that I really wanted to go far didn't quite yeah. do that. All right, next up, we have from Attack on Titan, Hanji Zoe. Now, they are someone who is very, very eccentric, um, but despite being eccentric, they have the opportunity to also be very, you know, like, steadfast, very smart leader as well. Mm -hmm. um, 
loved Titans um, in the beginning would refer to them as um, their babies and stuff. And like, you know, like she kind of treat them like really big children slash pets. Um, mm -hmm. But like when you start to dig in deep to their character, they are very smart and um, very uh, strong warriors indeed. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I uh, haven't watched too much of Attack on Titan, so I don't know too much uh, about them. So, uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how, uh, it, it, how, how is it uh, said again? Hanji? Hanji. Hanji, okay. It also can be somewhat different, and it really depends on, because, um, like, I am learning Japanese, so, like, there are some where I know, like, how to do it, but there's also different pronunciation in America, mm -hmm. or, like, English, that's kind of different in Japanese, and it also depends on what you listen to so like if we mispronounce english is weird and sometimes like um there are certain letters that don't exist in um japanese like v and l don't exist yeah. so uh um and certain consonants uh don't really end like um it, it's it's interesting to like look at anywho mm. uh i definitely think uh hanji will bring a lot of humor um to the tribe that's nice, nice. All right. Now, this one is from a smaller anime. It's called Heaven's Lost Property, and this is Icarus. Now, mm -hmm. Icarus, kind of similar to um, our princess Elizabeth, is also an angel, but it's like a mm -hmm. angel alien where it's like they come from like a place and it's like <laughs> they're called angeloids. Now, there are different types. She's considered an alpha angeloid. And essentially, each um, there's Alpha, Beta, and Delta. And so each one of them are super strong in two of three categories. And the one they lack is super, super low. Ooh. So like the one she's strong in is, you know, mentally she's strong, physically she's strong, emotionally she doesn't quite understand. She still has emotions and stuff but she's a very monotone individual and sometimes has trouble like learning about emotions or truly grasping it, mm -hmm. even though she can like feel like it's actually, it's a very perverted anime. I'm not going to lie, but I <laughs> enjoyed it back when yeah. I was a teen. Yeah. I will but say like, when I, when I haven't seen this anime, but when I typed in Icarus, um, I, it was, it was hard to find. Uh, <laughs> she is a fan service character. However, I wanted someone who is like emotionally mute to be on this channel or mm. in this one. And mm. so like, I thought she would be a fun one. She can also use magic and stuff and grant wishes, but Basically, right now she is kind of tied to someone called Tamako or Tamaki. Yeah, it's Tamaki. And uh, <laughs> she is someone where um, well, Tamaki is a pervert and he's just like a little spaz, like nerd thing. Um, and they get into some fun little misadventures. But yeah, um, I want to bring Icarus mostly um, because of like how she is as a person, mm -hmm. apart from. Um, the animate as itself nice nice well we shall uh, see how how she fares uh, out there on the islands yeah next up we have from demon slayer inosuke hashibira now he uh looks a little different than you probably um if you've seen um like if you're not familiar with the anime and you've seen like you know posters or whatnot he usually wears a boar a boar's head on his head mm -hmm. now he's someone that is like he was pretty much raised in the wild he's like crazy and stuff he used something like beast breathing um which like you know in this one everyone has like a fighting style and they use it with like breathing mm -hmm. and like there's fire there's a snake one there's love um there's sound like there's a bunch of different things that can range anywhere he picked up beast and mm -hmm. he's someone who is very like loud um charges in you know swords drawn and everything um and the funny thing is he's like a pretty boy um he you know like he looks pr very pretty underneath the thing um he's been mistaken as a girl a few times um 
which is kind of like a funny little contrast. Yeah, um, I feel like him and uh, Soifon. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe cut the hair a little bit. So, uh, I feel like uh, <laughs> maybe some, some, double, some double trouble action could happen there. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think Soifon has the patience for this guy. Yeah. I don't think anyone... I think maybe Ash, maybe Hanji will have patience. Newman Rider, um, Icarus, maybe. But like, I know like the other five indi- individuals probably don't want anything to do with him. Uh-huh. Um, but he's fun. He's my favorite character from the show. And that's saying a lot because there's a lot of great characters from that show. And uh, I've been wanting to bring someone for the longest time. And like, you know, since it's an anime one and also to like have like a diverse personalities on here i was like you know ske should be part of it yeah yeah sounds sounds good um yeah yeah uh, have we had someone from demon slayer yet i don't think we have no, not yeah. yet there's a few i would like to bring but i was like you know ske goes first yeah yeah did we not have tundra on no not yet yeah i feel like we i feel like we had him but he got out really early i can't remember <laughs> he does seem like someone we would bring but yeah i like i was pretty sure we didn't um yeah we, we might not have I, I yet again i i i have i can't remember i'm just uh, off the top of my head being like i uh, it feels like we might have <laughs> there's a few there's a few like um in a yeah. future one i had to like double check with um i had to double check with uh joe to be Mm -hmm. sure that i didn't bring this one guy before because he's another one where i'm like one of us would have had to at this point Uh but no anywho next up we have also from spy family lloyd forger now he is the one that adopted anya because he's on a secret mission to basically um get in good with this one guy and you know kind of like you know off him a little bit Mm -hmm. um so basically his assignment is to pretty much make a fake family and get his daughter enrolled in the school in order to get close to his target's son and then get in good with him um the thing is lloyd is very calculating and stuff he's a very very great spy and everything his code name is twilight um he's used to discarding identities he's a master of disguise um and he's a great fighter and everything um he's very very calculative and everything and uh he sometimes sees most of the time he sees like relationships of any kind as like a liability yeah um i think it would be really fitting if he ends up giving up his game for anya at some point kind of like uh it happened one time before but i don't know like i can see it but at the same time like this is a crazy game um but i wanted to bring lloyd funny enough he's like a character i really want to cosplay as um i just need a green suit and then boom i can make it work white hat (laughs) um yeah i love this uh anime it's so great i got my roommate to like i i told him like yeah you need to watch it and then like yesterday he watched every single episode that's out right now um this is an ongoing anime so uh yeah, um, if you love anime, I'd say give it a watch if you haven't already. Yeah, ex- exactly. Because uh, I was someone who actually, like, by the concept, I wasn't, like, super hooked. Like, I was kind of like, uh, that's probably not an anime I'd be into. Uh, but I I can say I was wrong after I watched the first episode. So right. so if, if you're on that fence, uh, know that you are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch it. Just watch yeah. it. All right. Next up. We got from Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's the same thing, just like uh, Brotherhood is more so to the, you know, stays true to the manga. We have Lust. Now, Lust is uh, what is called a, I'm forgetting, I'm spacing out on the name, a homunculus. Mm -hmm. And basically they are man-made humans. And each one of them in this are named after funny enough a seven deadly sin yep. hers is lust and she does have a power hers isn't as i would say as grand as everyone else's she can basically extend her fingers to a point and very very sharp and like impale pe- people and whatnot mm-hmm. uh she is someone where um 
she uses her looks to her advantage. She can, uh, she, you know, kind of in some ways was the leader of the homunculus for a while. Um, very smart, uh, femme fatale indeed. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think uh, she was kind of built for Survivor. Yeah, nice. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, potentially that uh, poverty type, if you uh, want to oh, yeah. look at it as the, you know, going to use your looks for you to your advantage to get you further into the game. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have from Soul Eater, Maka Albarn. Um, have you watched Soul Eater? I actually haven't. I, I know uh, about Maka, like, because I, I had, fr I, I would go over to friends' houses sometimes, and they'd actually be watching Soul Eater, and uh, I'd be on, like, my computer still, and they'd be watching it, so, like, I, I kind of know her, but not really. <laughs> yeah, so, she um, is basically a bookworm and everything, and she's trying to become, you know, like, one of the best, uh... so, basically, in this world, there are, like, some, like, it's been a hot minute since I've watched the anime, um, but basically there's a lot of um, kind of like demons out there basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are these things called death sives and um, miser, miser, I feel so bad. I should have refreshed myself on this. <laughs> um, weapon meisters, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna get so much mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> um, I would look it up, but I'm using my phone to record. Yeah, everyone uh, who has seen this anime, uh, tell Ryan me. right now. <laughs> me. I deserve it. This is bad on my part. Um, anyway, she um basically forms a bond with someone called Soul, who is her scythe. Now, her uh father is a death scythe, and basically, um, what that is, it's you have to pretty much defeat and consume the souls of 100 um of 100 enemies mm -hmm. and one of and the very last one has to be a witch's um soul mm -hmm. and so like he's um she's trying to make a uh, soul a uh you know oh you know a death scythe mm -hmm. um she also has you know daddy issues where she doesn't really respect um her dad because he think um she, he's kind of like a lackadaisical kind of bum um in her eyes but uh yeah maka is pretty cool i feel like definitely brings something um a lot of book smarts to the tribe nice nice yeah definitely um uh yeah as i said don't know too much about at least this expression seems like she's got a little bit of a pouty look on her i don't know <laughs> I mean, she's, she's usually very serious yeah. um she has her she has her humorous mo moments but she is very like if I were to compare her to Hermione Granger, that would be a fair comparison. Got it, got Except it. Maybe with a bit more of an attitude. All Sounds right, good. next up, from One Punch Man, we got Mewman Rider. Uh, you're familiar with this, I know. Yeah. Um, I have a connection to this character mostly because I do DoorDash on a bike. And so like, sometimes I feel like Newman Rider. Um, he is someone where he is the number one hero on the very lowest tier. Yes, yeah, C rank. Yeah, so like, he's the best of the least greatest heroes. He's mm. like- Of all the expendable wanna... heroes. <laughs> yeah, he's like the best when it comes to, you know, the ground level, street level crime fighters and stuff. Yeah. Um, he doesn't really have any powers or anything. He just he has, has a bike. A, he has a bike and an undying spirit to like, you know, fight and protect, which is endearing on its own. He has like one episode where he is fighting someone and like it's totally one sided, but you can't help but root for this guy because he's giving yeah. it his all. Yeah, he keeps getting up after getting knocked down over and over again. It's uh <laughs> it's it's so good. Yeah um so he's definitely a favorite here um i hope he does well but at the same time i can totally see them getting rid of him yeah yeah i could definitely yeah he he's definitely seems someone that uh as i said it could be very expendable for some of these other players and you could just say okay let's just get rid of that person like let's not worry about the game right now <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel the next guy they might get rid of just because he's a total shit bag <laughs> so next up we have seto kaiba now from Yu-Gi-Oh. now if you've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, he is basically someone who um 
he's a rich guy. Um, he was an orphan and then he took over his father's company, his adopted father. And then, you know, he kind of like, you know, kind of made Duel Monsters, which is like the Yu-Gi-Oh card game for those who aren't familiar um, with the show and kind of made it like super, super mainstream and like, you know, developed technology for it and kind of like influence building it to make it even grander than what it was. Now, um, he's someone where he's obsessed with beating Yugi. He wants to be the undisputed undisputable like best in the world and yugi keeps getting in in his way of that mm. now that being said it's not like he's the main villain of the show you know like he's someone where it's like he, he's like an anti-hero or i wouldn't say i i said this earlier he's the antagonist to um yugi but they will team up from time to time mm. it's like this man has invented a time machine basically just so he can battle uh battle yugi's like the pharaoh because like yugi is like two people basically if yeah. you haven't seen the show um so like and this man um he can also be very salty after losing one tournament he's like i'm gonna blow up this island y'all find <laughs> your own way off yeah and then like <laughs> um the dude has a um, obsession with the blue eyes white dragon he's the only person to actually have any copies of the card because like he paid for all of them and the one he couldn't have he decided to rip apart uh mm -hmm. this happens in the very first episode um before you think he's a total irredeemable jerk he has a little brother named mokuba and he is everything to kaiba and so like you know like he has like that one redeemable part and he yeah. uh was willing to do everything to try and get him back um and kaiba can play dirty sometimes um they kind of censored it in the anime a little bit in the american one but there was a point where kaiba was about to lose and he's like i can't afford to lose and then he steps out on a ledge and was mm -hmm. like hey if you destroy my monster the uh the blowback and everything will send me over the edge and i'll fall to my death so if you want to do it, go ahead. You want to win, you're going to have to kill me. Yeah. Look it. Uh, the man doesn't play around. Um, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't play children's card games. <laughs> he no. plays life and death games. <laughs> Which of children's cards like games. He does. It's just a lot. I would say the Japanese one is uh, a lot worse because like the thing they did to kind of censor it to make it kid friendly out here in uh, the States um they had to invent an entirely new like sub they had to invent something called the shadow realm so like you know like oh if they get defeated they go to the shadow realm they don't get uh their legs chopped off or fall to their deaths or um sent to hell yeah uh it's kind of funny when you see uh see what they did there yeah exactly and eventually they start having duels in the shadow realm it's uh <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah all right now, last but certainly not least, we have from Bleach, Soyphone. Now, Soyphone is someone who, uh, she is the head cap, uh, she is the captain of Squad 2, which is like the stealth force. And so she's very stealthy. She's very hands-on. Even her, um, so everyone in Bleach has, well, who's like a Soul Reaper or an Iran car. They mm -hmm. have something called Zanpakuto. And each of them kind of have their own like special powers and whatnot. Hers, basically, she gets one where, and it's like first stage, if she attacks someone with it in the same place twice, that person instantly is killed. Mm -hmm. um, she, uh, thing is, she doesn't really need that. She is more than capable of fighting on her own merit and stuff. Um, she's very serious. Um, she's a boss you don't want to mess with. Um, and another thing is like her mentor, Yaruichi, um, who kind of like abandoned her, quote unquote. Um, she has like a devout loyalty to her, despite like the, the desertion. Um, mm -hmm. It's a totally different thing. So, uh, and she is someone that has a lot of good qualities. I think she might want to try she, um, to play like a sleeper threat game, but mm -hmm. we'll have to see. I, I, I will admit there's like two people I think I'm interested to see how she would in interact with uh, Lloyd because both of them are very under the radar people. Yeah, yeah. I imagine Lloyd's going to try to not be the center of attention until like the end of the game. <laughs> yeah. All right. So 
on your team, who would you say that you're rooting for most? Um, I'd probably say uh, I'm rooting for Soma Yukihira and Nico Robin. I think those are my my top two. I would say for me, I'm going to have to choose Anya and Urza. Yeah, those are good options too. And on my side, it's a little tough. I'm going to have to go with Lloyd and Ash. Lloyd and, Ash. and also Newman Ryder. Yeah, I was going to say my top one for yours, Moomin Rider. That's Moomin, cool. Moomin. Freaking. Uh, English is weird. Yeah. <laughs> Moomin Rider or Moomin Rider. Uh, yeah, whichever one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All um, right. Okay. So uh, I also, while talking, I kind of figured out who the two are. Um, I already guessed one before we uh, started. The uh, the two idols on Island of the Idols. I already uh-huh. guessed one, and so I don't spoil the supply, surprise completely. Um, I think I know who it is, and I'll let I'll be honest and let you know if it is that person. Okay. How, how about right before I click proceed, I'll have you uh, to the Island of the Idols. I'll I'll have you uh, say who you think it is. All right. Cool. Okay. Okay, no alliances over here on the Joe tribe. Nothing over here on the Ryan tribe. Let's see who wins immunity. And the Joe tribe wins immunity. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. All right. Okay, now, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, make your uh, predictions. It's Naruto and Sailor Moon. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because you were saying very popular female female character i'm like thinking of like all the big ones big ones and then i had to like think way way back one of the founding mothers of uh anime out here sailor moon i'm like yeah exactly yeah literal idol there too um (laughs) oh my uh so kaiba is selected for this yeah is he going to make fire against i think it's naruto that would be the one i I can see that happening Uh, must defeat naruto come on you got this kaiba he does not play. The deal is sweetened. <laughs> In order, so now it's good for th- the next three tribal councils. Kai, he decides to play and wins. That's a calculated risk he just took. Good job, man. Good job, Kaiba. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, and then you select someone else randomly. Okay. Uh, Monokuma has a major meltdown at the start of the game. That doesn't seem pleasant. And Ashito and Robin have a minor disagreements. Man. Kaiba has the temporary idol. Moomin Rider and Kaiba have a minor disagreements. Oh, no. It's not <laughs> Moomin <Moomin-ro. Ryder. laughs> Don't do it. Moomin Rider rests at camp to restore his energy. He's not even bothered about trying to make an alliance right now. He's like, I'll just sit, mm. a- sit around. Apparently, none of them are. I'm guessing it is Moomin Rider. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or Seto, Seto goes home. <laughs> Very... I, don't think, I don't think Kaiba's going. First vote goes to Moomin Rider. Second vote goes to Moomin Rider. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I don't want it to Third vote goes to Ash. Want... No, not Ash, too. Fourth vote goes to Moomin Rider. I think it's Moomin Rider. Fifth vote goes to Ash. Six foot goes to Seto. <laughs> what? Seven foot goes to Ash. Eight foot goes to Ash. Are you kidding me? And Ash catch up is voted out first. Why? <laughs> they love torturing me. Oh my Why? god. Come I mean, on. Wow, that, that honestly, that was quite a turn. It was. I'm like, come on. Ash. Yeah, we get hit with two Moomin Riders, one Ash, then another Moomin Rider, Ash, Kaiba, and then just following it with Ash. That is, that's crazy. Well, <sighs> Moomin Rider was completely out of it, voting for uh, um, Kaiba. Kaiba. And now, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, well, I mean, hell, even Kaiba wasn't even in this. It was like, totally arranged by everyone else and soy yeah. was kind of like all right let me go with these two buffoons yeah 
Yeah, Hanji, uh, Ikaros, uh, Inosuke, Lloyd, Lust, and Maka. Okay, well, Ash Ketchum is the first casualty of the season. Well, he still has the World Coronation Series. Mikey finds the Joe's Tribe Hidden Immunity Idol. Nice. Nice, nice. Monokuma arrives. All the villains, I think, are... Are, are making their way to the island. Yeah. Lesson is paying attention. The Monokuma must answer four out of five questions correctly about the personal life of Sailor Moon. Okay. He decides to play and he wins. All uh, right. Monokuma, nice. like, the whole thing in Danganronpa is that there's so much information. Like, he probably had all of this information already about Sailor Moon before. Uh, I mean, he's also a robot. So, like, yeah. they can, like, replay stuff and everything. Exactly. So, he's got an eye out for next two. And Ryan's tribe wins immunity. All right. Okay. They win, okay. Uh, also win cooking kits and spices. Roshi and Yuki Hira bond strongly. Nice. Yeah. It's, well, just a bond. Nothing yeah. more. Yeah, that's all. Uh, and Inosuke and Maka find something in common. These two are like polar opposites. I'm like trying to think what could that possibly be. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe, maybe there's a, a candy that they, they both uh, end up finding out that they both like and they're, they're now just going to talk about, about sweets <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I can't see. <laughs> All right. I really don't know who on your tribe. I'd say the only person that might, just because they went to the island, could be Monokuma. Yeah, he might need to play his idol. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, first vote goes to Shido. Second vote goes to Monokuma. Third vote goes to Ashido. Fourth vote goes to Ashido. Fifth vote goes to Monokuma. Sixth vote goes to Ashido. Seventh vote goes to Monokuma. Eighth vote goes to Monokuma. Oh. Ninth vote goes to Ashido. One vote left. And Ashido is taken out. Monokuma did not have to waste his idol. Nope. Well. Okay, so Urza, Mikey, Monokuma, Robin, Shiho, and Yukihira voted correctly, whereas Anya, Ashido, Elizabeth, and Roshi did not. Don't y'all vote off Anya. <laughs> Anya, I, I swear, Anya and Lloyd need to make it to the merge, or at least on the same tribe together. <laughs> no, they, they have to make it to the merge. They yeah. just have to. Yeah. Okay. See. No one's wanting to find your tribe's idol. Nope. Lust arrives now over oh, here. Yeah, so all the villains. <laughs> yeah, they're all going. <laughs> um okay. And she decides to play and Lust wins. All the, everyone is getting their idols. <laughs> well, that's nice. And Ryan's tribe wins immunity. They also win comfort items and a tarp. Nice, nice. Okay, this is the last time Monokuma can use his idol, so he, he's going to be safe. Anya and yeah. Monokuma bond oh. slightly. And our first alliance of like Master big, Roshi big. and Soma Yukihira. I think I think Roshi sees Goku and uh, Yukihira, you know, main character of an anime. They're yeah. both kind of dumb they both like food yeah i feel like wait is some of the only like main protagonists on your tribe um maybe i think we'll, so. we'll see in a bit yeah because like anya is technically a protect but we're talking like shonen like or like you know like that fits that protagonist archetype oh shit mm -hmm. icarus finds it yep icarus found your idol <laughs> Hmm. Okay, there's now three idols on your tribe. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lust and Soifons find something in common and create an alliance because of it. Interesting. 
Yes. I think uh, Soifan wants uh, to have more of the feminine uh, charm here to, uh, to get some, uh, some of the guys in and less wants maybe more of the some of the stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to help navigate the game. So I, I think they actually kind of complement each other pretty well. I agree. Definitely agree. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Uh, Yukira is the only main character. Yeah. So, like uh, all right. <sighs> um, I don't know who it could be, though. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to say Roshi. I'm, just... I'm going to say Shiho. Okay. Mikey used the idol on Robin. Okay. As well as Monokuma using his temporary idol. Makes First sense. vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. Second vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. Third vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. Fourth vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. Fifth vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. I'm nervous. Sixth vote goes to Monokuma, does not count. I'm so nervous. Seven vote goes to Urza. Oh no. Urza is idled out by Monokuma. Oh. That dang. sucks. That's rather unfortunate. Uh, so, Elizabeth, Monokuma, and Robin were the driving forces of that. I mean, they survived, but they're still, uh, yeah. still kind of on the outside. Yeah, exactly. Um, Monokuma, that Island of Idols has, has saved him. That it did. Okay. I want to see your tribe go just because now you have three, three idols over there. <laughs> That's fair, and like one of them expired. Monokuma arrives again. <laughs> uh, again? Why would they send this man back? <laughs> Uh, it's persuasion. Uh, uh, so if he can manage to get uh, to be the caller in the next immunity challenge, he gets a vote blocker, but he does not play. He decides it is not worth it this time. I guess uh, he's like, well, we don't really have a lot of numbers, so if it was an idol, maybe it would be worth it, but for just a vote blocker, maybe it's not thing it's that, that worthy. Yeah. That's fair. And the Joe's tribe wins immunity. All right, stuff is going down. Yep. They also went baked goods and caffeinated beverages. Um, Robin and Shiho bond strongly. And of course, Roshi and Shiho bond slightly. Oh, Shiho. <laughs> and uh, Anya, Elizabeth, and Manjaro uh, create an alliance together. All right, as sweet. Anya rests at camp to restore her energy. Of course. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't have her do like a bunch of, you know, camp life stuff, you know. She uh yeah, she 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 when she was making her room, you know, she she knocked over all she did was knock over a, a bucket of water. That's <laughs> that was her contribution. <laughs> oh, Anya. Okay. Um uh -huh. and Hanji is impressing the rest of the team. Yeah, that's all. all that's all we're getting in there <laughs> all right so not too much to go off of i think things are still kind of being established mm -hmm. um i think moomin riders can still be in danger here mm -hmm. yeah I'm, i could still see him getting get in the votes nervous okay. and they they both uh have the riders for at least one more so Lust uses her idol. Let's see if that. Nope, not not needed. First vote goes to Icarus. Second vote goes to Moon Rider. Third vote goes to Icarus. Fourth vote goes to Moon Rider. Fifth vote goes to Icarus. Sixth vote goes to Moon Rider. Seventh vote goes to Icarus. Eighth vote goes to Moon Rider. One vote left. Is it? And it is Moomin Rider. No! It makes sense. It sucks that he has to go. 
Uh, I was hoping yeah. that he'd have this crazy big underdog story and like like be the Romeo of our of our brand steel of just. <laughs> I don't think it was for him, unfortunately. Dang. Yeah, he was just, he was super expendable for this team. Damn. Yeah, so Ikaros, uh, Inosuke, Kaiba, Lloyd, and Maka voted Moomin Rider. Hanji, uh, Lust, Moomin Rider, and Soifan voted Ikaros. Damn. Okay, and we're all tied up again going into the tribe flop. All right, let's see how it Hands out. Okay, the new Joe's tribe is Inosuke, Lust, Maka, Manjuro, Masaroshi, Set, uh, Kaiba, Soifon, and Yukihira. Okay, so this one at least has the Lust Soifon duo and the Roshi Soma duo. Yeah. <gasps> Did you see it? What? If you oh, they are down... together. Anya and Yay. Lloyd are on the same tribe. With uh, Elizabeth, Hanji, Icarus, uh, Monokuma, Robin, and uh, uh, Shiho. All right. Now Anya and Lloyd just have to make it. Just make it to the merge. Yep, they have to. You, you guys got just just a few more episodes. <laughs> Yuki Hira finds the Joe's tribe hidden immunity idol. All right. That's good. I like to see that. Yeah. And up in there. Let's see who wins rewards. And Ryan's try wins reward. This is the Applebee's reward. Who is who one. is the most excited about Applebee's? In it has to group? be Anya. Yeah, it's got to be Anya. And, and Monaco. Honestly, Anya and Monaco having like an adorable dance together as they're about to eat Applebee's. That's what yeah. I want in life. <laughs> the board is just skeptical about everything. Hanji's yeah. also in the group. Icarus is like trying to process why <laughs> everyone's so excited for Applebee's. Uh, okay, let's uh, see who wins immunity. And Ryan's tribe wins immunity. The Forgers still still going to make Forgers it through a little further. Okay, Inosuke and Kaiba bond strongly. Kaiba is safe this time. He will play his idol. Yeah. Uh, Maka has a major meltdown. Oh no. Maka almost quits the game as a result, but decides to stay. She's just so like over this. What? <laughs> yeah. Soifon is impressing the rest of the team. As a new alliance form between Inosuke, Maka, Masaroshi, and Yuki Hira. <laughs> All right. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think Maka knows what she's getting into with Roshi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think Roshi mistaken Inosuke for a girl. It was like, at first, I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll train you. <laughs> My terrible <laughs> Roshi impression. Yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, overall, I think this is a good play from Roshi and Yukihira. I think uh, getting in with some of the other people, uh, I think it's going to yeah. save them. At least, at least this next vote. Um, Hanji and Ikros have a minor disagreement. And Monokuma and Robin find something in common. All right. They both like uh, black, I guess. Black's a fun color. Yeah. As someone that's wearing all black. Yeah, yeah same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this might be trouble for Mikey, to be honest. If Yuki, Hira, and Roshi kind of join now this tribe, they might just take out Mikey. I can see that, yeah. Uh -huh. Especially since you played an idol last time. Yeah, and Kaiba is going to be safe here, which, you know, they can't get rid of the, the douchebag. Uh, no, <laughs> nah, he's, he has to play it now. Yeah. Kaiba uses the idol. Okay. First vote goes to Mikey. Second vote goes to Roshi. Third vote goes to Mikey. Fourth vote goes to Roshi. Fifth vote goes to Lusts. Sixth vote goes to Lusts. Seventh vote goes to Lust. One vote left. What? What? Lust has been taken out of the what? game. Oh my god. <laughs> what just happened? I chose her. That's what happened. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> Granted, so, I'm not as invested in Lust, but I was still just kind of like surprised because that's not how I thought things would go at all. Oh, so my team stick together and pulled in Kaiba. Interesting. And, that makes sense. Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, exactly. Kaiba has already decided he's defecting his tribe. He does not like his tribe. <laughs> Kaiba would. Kaiba, he would. Yeah. Yeah, Ka- Kaiba is, I think, one of the most self-interested players in our brand steel already. Oh, like, I, I feel like he's only playing for himself. <laughs> that's that's what Kaiba does. Yeah. Mokuba's not in the equation. It's all about him. Exactly. Okay, reward challenge. In order to even the numbers, Anya sits out of the challenge for Ryan's tribe. All right. Oh, she's going to... <laughs> anime yeah that's true yeah so uh ryan's tribe wins rewards um honestly this also just makes so much sense anya being the one to have to sit out <laughs> like yeah. that would be what would happen in real life uh, all right what, they win chickens so anya is now over here to violence i just um, imagine she it. does oh. not play She's, yeah. she's deciding not to. I mean, yet again, I, I feel like vote blocker is one of the less important ones. Like, maybe you don't need to do it. it it's a bit more niche. Yeah. Ryan's tribe wins immunity. That means at All least right, so- Anya and Lloyd have made it to uh, the jury phase, at least. Yes. Yes. I can get behind that. Yeah. Though I want them to make it to the room. Yeah, yeah. Make it at least one more, guys, before uh, before something happens with you. Uh, Mikey right. and Soifon have a small fight. Uh-oh. And Mikey is completely worn out, but is not giving up. Honestly, it might be Soifon. It's, I think it's one of these two. Uh, Shiho has a major meltdown. All right. Okay. Who is going to just miss out on making it to the jury phase? I gotta say, it ha- <laughs> I think it's Soifon. Yeah. Kaiba is you know, splintered off into the other one. None of them have any advantages. Mm-hmm. So I feel like he's just going with uh, the old Joe tribe. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely see that. First vote goes to Maka. Second vote goes to Soifon. Third vote goes to Soifon. Fourth vote goes to Soifon. Fifth vote goes to Maka. And Soifon is taken yeah. out. Um, yeah. With the only one voting with her was Kaiba. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, Kaiba is playing his own game out there. Yeah, no one loses <laughs> to anyone. Okay, well, at least he, you know, this is the people at least going to be a part of the jury. Yeah. Okay, reward challenge. Ryan's tribe wins reward. They win pizza. Nice. Lloyd arrives now. He has decided, you know what? It's near the end. Let me let me go there. Does he play the game? In order to win a safety without power, Lloyd must complete an unknown challenge. I don't think Lloyd would take the risk. He does not play. Yeah, he, he is. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is not what he wants to do. Uh, so and they Lloyd, just win. I mean, this tri- Lloyd is just, I think, good at keeping his tribe to, to stay together and win this, these immunities. He's, he's like, Anya's on the same thing. I have to keep her safe. Exactly. Oh, nothing on your tribe. Yeah, nothing. They don't even care. Um. And Robin and Chiho find something in common. And they form an alliance with Lloyd. Interesting. I think he he knows Chiho's like strategy and stuff. And it's like, all right, probably good to be in good. Yeah, with her. he I this might be he, he's clearly the lowest loyalty. I think this is him infiltrating this alliance. So he knows what's going on between Robin and Chiho. Or maybe Anya's missing uh your and like he's like all right i need to find like a, a fake wife for on the island <laughs> yeah yeah my island wife <laughs> they kind of both look like you are a little bit Who, which one 
Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to say uh, Maka. I'm going to actually say Kaiba. I feel like everyone is getting wise to his stuff. Uh-huh. First vote goes to Mikey. <clears throat> Second vote goes to Kaiba. Third vote goes to Mikey. Fourth vote goes to Mikey. Mikey is taken out right before the merge. And wow. Kaiba's still in it. Yeah, Kaiba has made the merge. <laughs> Makes uh, sense. Yeah. All right. Detective Conan. Yeah, in case you don't know, it is the longest running anime uh, ever, and it's still going. Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, right. at like, it's at like 1,300 episodes or something. 1,300. That's rather impressive. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from yours and six from mine. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, gotta get we have a pretty good mix here. Um, yeah, I'm I'm interested to see how things go. I think this is a pretty good merch. Uh, who we yeah. have? Yeah, yeah, I think it's been a pretty solid season so far. Um, who 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 are the standouts for you? Um, Definitely Kaiba. Um, I know like we're fans of uh, you know spy family so our eyes are like really focused on them I'd say um, another person to like really look out for is Roshi Mm -hmm. Um, Monokuma I feel like you know like is definitely someone to keep an eye on so is Soma Um, yeah yeah. you can't forget about the Monokuma idol play it's that's definitely a big move I feel like uh, they're kind of like the front runners are going into this they've kind of played the better uh, pre-merge games yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I think Yuki Hira as well. I think I think him and Roshi are really uh, that duo. That uh, yeah. Um, I think I think you you can look at them kind of playing the same game. So maybe if like one of them gets the end, but the other person falls on like fire or something, all the yeah. credit will just go over to the other one. Exactly. Okay. Let's see who wins immunity. Elizabeth, the angel, wins immunity. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roshi and Robin have a small fight. All right. Ikaros and Shiho bond slightly. Okay. Are we seeing Roshi or Robin getting targeted here? I can see either or. I mm-hmm. mean, at this point, anything could really happen. You oh, never know. Exactly. Okay. First vote goes to Roshi. Second vote goes to Monokuma. Third vote goes to Kaiba. Fourth vote goes to Roshi. Fifth vote goes to Kaiba. Sixth vote goes to Monokuma. Seventh vote goes to Kaiba. Eighth vote goes to Roshi. Ninth vote goes to Monokuma. (laughs) My fingers can't do this. (laughs) <laughs> so it's a three 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 so far <laughs> tenth vote goes to kaiba 11 vote goes to roshi monaco three more time with one vote left who's it gonna be <laughs> who could it be monaco oh, is the merge dang. boots dang i mean That's- that's Dang. unfortunate. It didn't really get a chance to, to play in the, the merge portion. No. But look at this. So Hanji, Ikaros, Lloyd, Robin, and Shiho voted Monokuma. Inosuke, Maka, Roshi, Yugi Hira voted Kaiba. And Anya, Elizabeth, Kaiba, and Monokuma voted Roshi. I think that this was really just, let's make sure that in case any idols are being played, because they knew so many people were going to Island of the Idols. Like, yeah. who knows? Let's Makes just sense. let's just make sure everyone <laughs> is covered. <laughs> Dang. So I could definitely see Kaiba and Roshi still being on the outs because they were, you know, targeted. Okay. Yeah, they were okay if uh, Monokuma did have something. Mm. Um, man, if Monokuma had that vote blocker right there, <laughs> that would have been nuts. That would have been nuts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
So Anya, Elizabeth, Hanji, Lloyd, Seto, and Shiho are group number one. Group number two is Ikros, Inosuke, Maka, Roshi, Robin, and Yukihira. And, and group number one wins. Uh, they win cheeseburgers, cookies, peanut butter, and beer. Hmm. There is a hanging note enticing one player oh, to no. visit anime idols. And Shiho arrives. So she loses her vote at this next tribal council. Maybe she can win immunity and just be safe. Lloyd wins immunity and Shiho yes! wins immunity. <laughs> All right, that's good at least. Okay, we don't have to worry about a Jamal incident of uh, yeah. losing your vote and just, I guess it's you. <laughs> All right, man. Okay, Elizabeth and Kaiba bond slightly. Why, though? <laughs> and Maka leaves this alliance, and Lloyd leaves the alliance, so he's gained his info and has left. All right. Is he going um, after Robin? Yeah, I, I could see Robin getting targeted here. I'm going to say Robin, yeah. Okay. First vote goes to Anya. You better not. Second vote goes to Elizabeth. Third vote goes to Winosuke. Fourth vote goes to Anya. Don't you dare. Fifth vote goes to Anya. No, I don't like this. Sixth vote goes to Winosuke. Seven vote goes to Elizabeth. No. Eighth vote goes to Anya. Ninth vote goes to Elizabeth. Tenth vote goes to Elizabeth. What? One vote left. And Elizabeth goes. Oh my, oh, my heart almost stopped. I know, like, <laughs> we, can't, we can't have Anya go out just yet. Yeah, like, just make it a little oh. further. Make it to the mid-merge at least. Hold on, I need to plug in my phone I, oh, yeah. it just alarmed me that was i brought in my charger and everything mm -hmm. damn no just worries no worries it just happens like right at uh just right in the middle yeah uh, we've also been doing this i i don't know if we said that at the start but this is right after survivor 41 versus 42 so we are going right into it with another one yeah uh surprise and ryan let me just adjust a few settings yeah i go for it because usually I also keep my, um, what is it, brightness up because I'm outside a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. We're, we should be good. I'm going okay. to good. keep my eye on things. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. So Anya managing to barely squeak by. Um, so uh, Hanji, Inosuke, Maka, Roshi, and Yukihira voted Elizabeth. Ikros, Kaiba, and Lloyd and Robin voted Anya. So Lloyd voted against Lloyd. Anya, and Anya and Elizabeth you voted. Against Anya. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, that that hurts. Oh no, Lloyd, don't do it. He he's he wants to to be the only forger in <laughs> left. No, of the game. work together. You've okay. Done so much Anya, Hanji, Lloyd, Maka, Masteroshi, and Shiho are team one. Team two is Ikaros, Inosuke, Robin, Kaiba, and Yukihira. Yukihira wins immunity for his tribe. And Shiho wins immunity and reward for her team. Back to back immunities for Shiho. All right. And she can vote this time. Yeah. I am worried, though. Yeah, Ikaros and Inosuke have made it. Yeah, because Lloyd is with her, uh, was with Anya, but um, they he voted for her, so he might be just trying to get her out now. No, it, it could just be voting blocks. I can't believe that in my heart. <laughs> Ikaros works hard at camp and becomes tired. Okay. okay. Uh. I'm going to say Kaiba. It has to be Kaiba. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Inosuke. Uh, Ikros uses her idol. So right. her and Yukihira are now safe. First vote goes to Ikros. Does not count. Second vote goes to Ikros. Does not count. Third vote goes to Ikros. Does not count. Where is it? Nico Robin. Oh. One vote left. 
Wow, Robin gets idled out. Dang. Who and Kaiba's for- still here. He's going to make it. I, honestly, he's such a wild card. Um, I don't know. I think maybe he's like, they're bringing him along because no one's going to vote for him. Yeah, he he was a, he helped uh, Icarus with this plan here to yeah. vote out Robin. You know, Shio wasn't there. Shio was starting to build up like a big resume. So I guess take out Robin. To, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Injure Shio. All right, don't do it. Don't do it, Lord. I'm neither of you. Okay, I I'm gonna say my heart of hearts doesn't want it to be Anya. My brain thinks it's Anya, but my I'm gonna my heart is gonna say it's gonna be Hanji. I'm gonna say Maka. Uh, okay. First vote goes to Lloyd. Don't. Second vote goes to Anya. Well, fuck you. Third vote goes to Anya. Let them tie. Let them Four draw rocks. To Lloyd. Let them tie and let them draw rocks. <laughs> it was to Anya. And there it is. They are tied. Please, actually, right. like this is one of the times it would be so great if they go to rocks here. Honestly, this would actually be a great plan because if both, this could actually be Lloyd's plan of getting them both immune. <laughs> exactly yeah yeah he's probably been the whole time been like i've got to make it look like i i want it on you out of this game but secretly yeah. it was to create this scenario where both of them are guaranteed immunity oh my gosh let it this is like he's the one got... time i want a rock draw <laughs> oh i'm so nervous ditto first focus on you saw so, second focus on you there could be two Lloyds. Third vote goes to Lloyd. And it is no! Anya. Oh. Who switched? Who who broke Lloyd's plan? Shiho. The villain of Shiho Soaragi. She has to she has to be Shiho has to be stopped. Yeah. Uh, okay. Man, episode 10 here. Um, I guess let's, right. do, let's get, do, do we want to do an assessment here or one more? We, we should do an assessment because okay. uh, first off, I'd say definitely um, the ones to look after. Shiho is proving to be quite a force. Roshi is a force along with Soma. Mm-hmm. Kaiba, he's still, he's still around. I feel Icarus is still playing moves, though she's kind of like still figuring out the game. Mm-hmm. And then Lloyd, he he just knew Survivor was too much for Anya, but he didn't have the heart. Damn, damn. Yeah, that's uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I, I I would say um, it's like these groupings right here are the yeah. are the big power players of the season. There's um, no one's found the like merge idol yet, so mm-hmm. who knows who may find that. Yeah, yeah, true. It's actually crazy that they haven't found it yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the tribe choose one player. Kaiba arrives yet again to the island of the idols. All right. Lesson is situational awareness. This should be right up his alley, right? Eh, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, the Duel Monsters is all about situational awareness. Well, I mean, yeah, but at the same time, Kaiba is more so of like overpowering and like mm-hmm. flexing his ego yeah i i really think like he, he's yeah he's not even he's not even gonna play yeah. it <laughs> he's like i don't want to bet on that uh but ikros wins immunity okay this could be trouble for Salaragi for shiho i think shiho is ever since <sighs> Yeah, yeah, she she's she's the villain of the season. Like she, like, we don't know if she's fully the villain of the, of the anime she's in, but um, she's definitely the villain of the season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, Hanji and Makabon slightly. Yuki Hira is impressing the rest of the team, and Hanji works hard at camp and becomes tired. For the sake of entertainment, I hope it's not Chiho. I hope she actually makes it a few more tribals just to be a, a antagonistic force a little further, but. I think Shio would be a smart one. I can also see Lloyd or Maka. Mm-hmm. So I don't want Lloyd to go. 
give to, I don't want it to happen. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say Maka, but I do think it's very likely she will go home here. First vote goes to Lloyd. Second vote goes to Shiho. Third vote goes minutes. to Shiho. Fourth vote goes to Lloyd. Fifth vote goes to Shiho. Sixth vote goes to Lloyd. Seventh vote goes to Shiho. Eighth vote goes to Lloyd. One vote left. No. Final fuck. coach Lloyd, the tribe has spoken. Damn it. Wow. Be careful uh, what you wish for. I was not expecting that. Damn. Shiho is playing a great game right now. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, that is. Yeah, Inosuke, uh, Maka, Roshi, Shiho, and Yukihira voted Lloyd. Wow, e- even when she gets crippled by losing her closest alliance member, she's still controlling votes. Yeah, she's she's a tough cookie. Yeah. Uh, Hanji finds the detective Conan hidden immunity idol. All right. All right. Yes, nice. nice. Uh, Yukihira has the hidden immunity idol. Other lines still going strong. Uh, pair number one is Hanji and Ikaros. Pair number two is Shiho and Yukihira. Pair number three is Nosuke and Masaroshi. And pair number four is Maka and Kaiba. And Hanji and Ikaros win rewards. Nice. And they share the reward with two other castaways. And uh, this is the yeah, this is the loved ones. So I guess Maka sees her papa, and Seto sees Mokuba. Yep. Yeah, that 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 sounds uh, sounds fitting. Yeah. And Hanji wins immunity. All right, are they just doing like a sleeper threat thing right now? <laughs> it seems like this. <laughs> if you're a big, it, yeah, it's uh, it's like Survivor 41 editing right here. Have the yep. big big threats get taken out in the middle of the game, and then be like, okay, I guess it's this person now. <laughs> uh, Hanji is impressing the rest of the team. Ikaros and Shiho find something in common. Hanji and Kaiba bond slightly. And Inosuke leaves the alliance with Yukihira and Roshi. And a new alliance forms I mean, between... Uh, yeah, yeah. And a new alliance forms between Anji, Roshi, uh, Shiho, and Yukihira. That's, I think, that's the power players right now. Yeah, I think Inosuke is... Actually, it'd be smarter than to get rid of Kaiba. Yeah, I think Kaiba's the right move right now. First vote goes to Maka. Second vote goes to Maka. Third vote goes to Maka. Fourth vote goes to Icarus. Fifth vote goes to Maka. Yeah. Sixth vote goes to Icarus. And Maka is taken out. Well, that was rather Maka sad. and Inosuke. So there's a fair possibility that Inosuke is just the next one gets taken out here. That um maybe they think kaiba is like a great goat to bring to the end because he's like, mean, just rubbed just, people the wrong way <laughs> yeah <laughs> like well think of it like she's like how angelina like no one liked angelina and david versus goliath even though like maybe she did something good or something in like a tribal or whatever it's like no one liked her so bring her to the end no could sense. happen with kaiba good Okay, let's see who wins reward challenge. Hanji wins rewards and shares it with Yukihira and Shiho. All right. And one player is randomly chosen and it is Inosuke who needs to play. Regardless, he needs to play, I think. The lesson is jury management. Oh, no, he's screwed. This is a choice between an extra vote, I don't know if I are, or a hidden immune idol good for the following tribal council. He has to win a coin toss. Uh, uh, co- uh, yeah, a coin toss. He decides to play and loses. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think it's him now. <laughs> it would make sense. 
Shiho wins immunity. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. It's got to be Inosuke. Uh, Roshi and Shiho have a small fight. Hanji leaves the alliance here, though. Interesting. Detective Conan alliance number three forms between Icarus, Kaiba, and Shiho. All right. Uh, Shiho is still just playing the game uh, yeah. pretty well. It, I still think Inosuke. Yeah. Though it's either Inosuke or Hanji because Hanji has been great in these challenges. Maybe you take it out here. They still have an idol, though. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of these two, I think. Yeah. Okay, Hanji does use the idol. That is, I think, the right choice. First vote goes Hanji. Does not count. Second vote goes Hanji. Does not count. Third vote goes Hanji. Does not count. Fourth vote goes Hanji. Does not count. Fifth vote goes Hanji. Does not count. And Inosuke with the only vote. Wow. Man. Yeah. It feels like, would... yeah, it feels like uh, they should have just taken out maybe Roshi or Yukihira because Shiho had uh, immunity. Um, yeah, Inosuke was not a threat to yeah. Uh, the game. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, you know that if Hanji doesn't win immunity or find another idol, they are probably right. on the chopping block. All right. Okay. But Hanji wins immunity. <laughs> they nice. in it, making it to the finale. They will. And Shiho finds the Detective Conan hidden immunity idol. <laughs> well, this is going to be interesting who's going home. Yeah. Uh, Hanji and Roshi find something in common. Yeah, I think Shiho, I think you just play it here. I think, uh, I, I think you, just, you just try to make it a little further. Because you know Hanji will probably be the first person to go if she doesn't win if they don't win immunity. So you just yeah. you just got to make sure <laughs> make sure you get to the point where that can happen. <laughs> I think for Shiho, her best option is taking out Roshi or Yukihara mm-hmm. or Yukihira. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you got to separate these two. They, they've been playing the game together this whole time, and they're still okay. here at Final Six. That's pretty dangerous. Very. Okay, Shiho uses the Detective Conan hidden immunity idol. First vote goes to Ikaros. Second vote goes to Kaiba. Third vote goes to Roshi. Fourth vote goes to Roshi. Fifth vote goes to Kaiba, one vote left. And Roshi is taken out of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that makes sense. Um, Hanji and Roshi voted Kaiba. Uh, Yukihira, only person to vote Ikaro, so he was completely out of the loop on this one. Hmm. Okay, well, here we are, final five. Let's do our last assessment here of who is playing the best games. Definitely Shio. Um, I think it's arguably just like Shio. I feel Yuki um, Yukihira has like one chance to play his idol. However, idol nullifier could like yeah come up. Yeah, I think yeah. Yukihira. His only way of winning is he has to sit at the end with Ikaros and Kaiba. I think he has to sit yeah. with those two. If he sits with either Shiho or Hanji, I think no they chance. win. Yeah, yeah, this is really like this is Shiho's game to lose, and yeah. this is Hanji's game to, to win. Like, like they have to somehow get to the end. If they get to the end, they have a good chance, but Shiho is just playing such a great game so far. Exactly. Yeah. All right. We got to see. Yeah. Yukihira is at least guaranteed Final Four. And Shiho is just situated with everyone except for Hanji. The final five arrive, and Kaiba finds the idol. Oh, my gosh. 
Kaiba is playing this game hard. But Hanji wins immunity. <laughs> okay, so with this, Shiho is vulnerable yeah. and Icarus are vulnerable. Yeah, Everyone else has immunity. It's one of those. This is the two, last yeah. time to play it. Yeah. Uh, Hanji shares the reward with one other castaway. That they uh, win a steak dinner and uh, with a salad and vegetarian options. And no. Icaro is fine. <laughs> it's a time to go. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is the worst That's... outcome. She, uh, oh, she got done dirty. Okay, she's coming back. There's no way that she's yeah. not coming oh. back now. That's freaking brutal. Oh, Hanji has a major meltdown. Shiho and Yugi here have a small fight, and their alliance dissolves. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, this is sucks. Oh, oh no. Shiho could have been such a great winner. This was supposed to be hers to win. Yeah. Like, yeah, literally, because of all these advantages, it has actually cost her because. She, if anyone was available, I think she could have, she, she, they would have gone home. Damn. Uh, the thing is, if she didn't play her idol prior, prior, it wouldn't have went back into hiding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's so, this is so unfortunate. So everyone, play your idols, get it over with. First vote goes to you here, does not count. Second vote goes to you here, does not count. Third vote goes to you here, does not count. Shiho does get the vote, so it is at least she does get the vote. So it's not. Yeah. But yeah, she was the only one who could receive votes. Wow. Man. Okay, well, I'm now putting my money on Hanji to win this game. <laughs> Han yeah, Hanji is the best choice. Yeah. And Yuki Hiro wins final immunity. All right, who's going to fire? He grants safety to Hanji. Okay, so it's either going to be Icarus and or Kaibo beats Icarus. Nice. All right. So this is our final. Three. It's not a bad final three. Yeah. All things considered. Yeah. I think Hanji should win. I think Kai Kaibo was a good villain. I don't think he wins second place though. Yeah, I think he's the zero vote finalist. Maybe he gets like a pity vote somewhere. He might get one or two, I feel, yeah. but he's definitely not winning. Yeah. And then Yuki could probably be a uh, surprise upset win. Yeah. 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 It might be, it might be somewhat close between them. Cause I, I will say Hanji was, you know, she just like, uh, like the recent seasons, you know, came in at the end to do really good with the immunity wins and idol finds yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But um, you can hear it was, in a lot of the big important strategic talks for the whole season. All right. You ready? Let's do it. First vote goes to Kaiba. Second vote goes to Hanji. Third vote goes to Yukihira. Fourth vote goes to Yukihira. Fifth vote goes to Kaiba. Sixth vote goes to Hanji. Seven vote goes to Yukihira. Eighth vote goes to Kaiba. Ninth vote goes to Hanji. All right. Tenth vote goes to Kaiba. This eleventh and final goes to Hanji. We are tied between Hanji and Kaiba. Yukihira right, so the is casting the deciding vote. To those who don't know, Kaiba was actually a last-minute addition to this tribe. I messaged Joe yesterday mm -hmm. and was like, hey, let's uh, switch out this character for Kaiba. So if he wins, that's going to be quite funny. You can hear a vote for Kaiba. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? Kaiba won. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> what did you yeah, every, he was so self-interested, he didn't get along with anyone. <laughs> what? 
how why how? I, i'm happy that he won don't get me wrong i'm just like really him of all people yeah i think so i think what what happened was uh so hanji i think uh didn't get as much respect maybe with some of the l- later people even though that she was winning immunity uh, they were winning immunity and everything um and so when it comes down to the straw, I guess Yugi Hira just valued like, Kaiba's game. Yeah, Kaiba's game over kind of like just winning immunities at the end to, to get there. So, yeah. wow. <laughs> Let's see who voted for who. So, Lloyd, Maka, Monokuma, and Shiho voted for Hanji. Anya, Elizabeth, Inosuke, and Mikey voted for Kaiba. And Icaros, Robin, and Roshi voted for Yuki Hira. Wow. Surprise twist at the end. Like, yeah. I really didn't think Kaiba would win this, but surprise, surprise. Yeah, I know, right? It's, I, I would not have called it. Uh, Inosuke wins the fan favorite award, apparently. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that is crazy. Wow last minute change uh that's uh man it it was definitely uh we had a lot of good emotional moments in here the whole anya lloyd thing um a fall of a great villain early on yeah Uh, they also went out back to back how fitting yeah and then she hose eliminated elimination was just so dang oh shocking yeah as soon as icarus found the next one i was no (laughs) no I was like, I, I realized that the idol was probably replanted. I was like, either don't get found or Shio find it. Like that was that was what I was really hoping for. Well oh, damn. Yeah, she definitely is coming back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She 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 played definitely the best game. Uh just unfortunate how things turned out at the final five. Nice. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, go over here and look at some of these uh, other statistics. So Hanji and Shiho had uh, were tied for the most immunities with three. Yuki right. Hiro was considered the most strategic. All right, and Roshi was in the mix as well. Yeah. Um, All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, Monokuma with the most votes, only at fifteen. Not a uh, not, not too many out there. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it here uh, for um, Survivor anime. So, uh, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, uh, you know, click the click the like button, subscribe, all that, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, we'll just uh, see you guys uh, in the next one. All right. Yeah. Uh, have fun. Have a good uh, week or weekend, whichever, whenever this comes out. And yeah, well, I mean, then again, when it comes out, you would still wish you a good, as in like whatever day it comes out, yeah. just have, when this day, just have a good life. Yeah, have, have a coming. good life. <laughs> whenever you see it, whether this is, uh, you know, on Thursday, uh, in a month from now, a year, you know, 20, 37, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Just have a good one. Yes, exactly. Okay. Well, have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.